Prime Minister James Marpe on Sunday announcing that PNG IMR will be upscaling testing facilities to its Port Moresby and Medding base in the next two weeks. So PNG IMR is asked to relocate a facility into Port Moresby. We already have a quarantine facility established at uh, Six Mile and we're looking into setting up relevant facilities across. So in the event that it hits us and expense, then those who identified will picked up place in these quarantine facilities. In Goroka at PNG IMR, another seven samples have arrived for testing from mainly mining centers in the country. The testing takes around three hours, but for results coming into Goroka, it may take a day or two depending on logistics. The guys from Lay, for example, sometimes they travel up with the sample, so it can come in the next four hours once they inform us. Uh, samples from Vanima, for example, took, I think, two or three days to get in. So a lot of people were calling us to wanting the results. We didn't, we didn't have a sample, so we can't test it. So, yes. But mostly it goes to CPHL and they send it out. Also, you know, um, the courier, it goes to the courier. Um, so it, uh, when they bring it up, then it turns out. It usually takes about a day. A team of eight scientists working shifts for testing, something PNG IMR is not used to as they are a research facility. The component of staff working around the clock to be captured also in the IMR budget for COVID-19. Professor Pomat stating that the lead scientists conducting testing will have to train scientists based in Medang and Port Moresby. That we have, say, 5,000 samples, then we won't be able to cope alone here in Goroka. And because we've got similar machines in Medang, in our facility in Medang, in our facility in Port Mosby with uh, CPHL, so it is only proper that we also share the load and make sure that those uh, facilities also were able to test. So what we'll, we will be doing is bringing scientists from uh, CPHL as well as PNG IMR in Port Mosby, and scientists from Medang who are already familiar with the test for their own specific um, uh, studies that they're doing. <coughs> so they'll come here just train on the specific uh, standard operating procedures that we have here for COVID-19 and other flu. 200 scientists and nurses also out on sites collecting samples will also be captured in the budget. So how much exactly will be needed? Professor Pomat says initial training for Port Moresby and Medang will need 25,000 kina, but minor renovations of IMR labs and staffing will be captured in the expected 2 million kina they are supposed to receive this week from NDOH. We need to fix um, our lab so that it doesn't have louvers, it has glass panels to prevent dust from uh, destroying the machines. We also want to get new machines because uh, of the two that we had, one got bugged up last week so we have to send it to Sydney to get fixed and it's only proper that we get a new one so that it's helping us to, um, once we do get a case, that we are able to continue to have the capacity to continue testing. Time is of the essence as PNG AMR needs to also send the testing equipment down to Australia and also purchase a new one to assist in testing if there is an outbreak. For, for um, renovation, that hopefully that will take uh, up to three weeks. But for the new machine, that might take a bit longer since you know, it's coming from Australia. Uh, for the old machine that we sent to be fixed, hopefully it's also just a month. Uh, one of the reasons that we're also going to put most be in Medan because both those sites have two machines. Leaving the biggest question of when exactly the funding out from the 10 million kina released for COVID-19 will be released from the government to kickstart preparations of COVID-19 in the provincial centres. Adelaide Sirox Kari, National, MTV News, Goroka.